Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. Today's book i like to talk to you about is called Blood Song by Anthony Ryan. And I'd like to start this with a quote from the book. I don't know if it's an actual quote, but bear with me. The quote is, When you burn a book, from its ashes will arise a thousand copies. And that is a bit of the story how the actual book came to be. Because the author, Anthony Ryan, wasn't able to sell this book, and so he self-published it as an indie book. And he did a massive amount of, of work in publishing it, promoting it, and pushing it on Goodreads, in reader forums. And so the fire kind of spread and the book got more and more successful. And now, if you look at it on Goodreads, it has like 16,800 something ratings and the average rating is a 4.56. It's, it's amazing how many people love that book. And to show you how much I like the book, let's tap into my personal inner 15-year-old fangirl. Let's call her Stephanie, because that would have been my name if I had been a girl, according to my parents. So, Steph, what would you say about the book? This book, guys, it was so amazing, and it has all the feelings, and... And this Valen dude, he is so super, super cute. And when the thing with this stuff happens, I was like, OMG, what the fuck? And I almost let the, the, the fall down my phone and I missed a tweet with a cat with a ribbon on a hat. Um, thanks, Stephanie, for that enthusiastic piece, I guess. So, as you can see, I really, really like the book and I don't want to make a secret out of it, it got the full hand. It got five stars on Goodreads for me and it was really, really good. Now, let's let's delve a bit into why it is that good a book. Let's start with the structure, because the, um, the first thing you might often hear about Blood Song is a comparison to The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, because it follows a similar setup. You have a chronicler called Vinye, and in every part of the book, the book has five parts, uh, it starts with a short first-person narrative from this chronicler who actually kind of interviews um, the hero of the story called Valen El Sona. And then, after that first introduction in each part, the story swaps to third-person narrative and is uh, exclusively told from Valen's perspective. So, that is quite similar to uh, Patrick Rothfuss. The, there are also other little similarities, because uh, there are also other stories that are told by certain characters, and that is something that Patrick Rothfuss does as well. But the, the main difference is where Patrick Rothfuss is more on the side of um, a beautiful prose and telling a story about storytelling in a storytelling way, if that makes sense. Um, Anthony Ryan is more about the pacing and that is something he does really, really, really well. The book has zero dull parts. It's full of action. And when I say action, I don't mean like sword fights all the time or battles. It's all in there, but action um, regarding character development, regarding plot, and this is so, so, so well done. Um, let me try to give you a bit, uh, not, not of an example, but, but how it actually works. Um, what he does is he always uh, builds up um, bigger mysteries and smaller mysteries and on the appro appropriate, appropriate um, uh, 
position in the story or point in, in the story, he always gives you a little answer. Sometimes that uh, uh, makes you reevaluate uh, re the, the bigger picture and sometimes it makes you uh, or uh, uh, solves one of the uh, one of the smaller mysteries it has and and it it's like many tiny wheels that grip really well into each other and it's it's really really well constructed i'm saying really 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 often because it's really really good so bear with me uh, i'm not trying to say so so often as in the last videos so <laughs> i have to say really more um the next thing is the character himself. Valen and Sauna is not at all like a male Mary Sue, who's good at everything. He's uh, um, he's really down to earth. Doesn't succeed in everything uh, he does, and his story actually starts um, with him being delivered by his father, uh, who is the battle lord. In the kingdom, um, which is some sort of the biggest general, I guess, in the kingdom, and he's delivered to a order of the faith, a religious order of warrior monks, and um, he's left there to be trained in their in their ways. So he's pushed out of his family and into a new family with it, which is the order. And uh, the brothers, he gets there um, like the other kids he trains with. And the, the first part of the story, maybe the first half, focuses on his training. So you get a not typical, but a kind of an academy setting. Um, and this is a coming of age story in there. But it had, has also elements that already built up for the big plot. And in the in the second part of the story, uh, the guys finish their training and go out into the world uh, and and work for the for the order, um, fighting battles for them. And with this, the the, the story evolves more and and the plot uh, progresses um, progresses even more. And um, the character of Valen is, and that is, I think, the main theme about the book, is all about loyalty. When he's left um, at the order, his father says to him, remember our words, our motto, our family uh, words, it, our loyalty is our strength. And that is actually something that Valen embodies on the one hand and struggles with on the other hand because throughout the novel he has to divide his loyalties uh, uh, between many different individuals organizations and his own beliefs and conflict in the story often arises when two of those loyalties Valen has actually collide and this happens quite a lot and it's really interesting to see what happens the choices Valen makes and what that does for him as a character and for the story so that makes him really really relatable um, and in contrast to what I said yesterday about the structure of the Blackguard people who like this kind of very character driven narrative where the conflict really comes from the beliefs of the different characters uh, that will definitely be a book for you that is, is going to happen i would also say that this is a book as well for lovers of the more grim dark literature like Joe Abercrombie, Mark Lawrence, George R. Martin, Stephen Erickson because the world is really realistic, realistic in motivations of the of the people, of the characters there. Most of the antagonists are really relatable to as well because they 
uh, have motivations that we can at least understand. Maybe we wouldn't appreciate them, but at least we can understand where they're coming from. And um, that uh, that is, from my, from my point of view, one of the strong suits that uh, the grimdark uh, movement actually brought to fantasy, but also if you like the the coming of age story, uh, the the nah, it's not really a quest a quest thing, but readers of more traditional or lovers of more traditional fantasy like Tolkien, like Robert Jordan, like uh, uh, Terry Brooks, like David Eddings, David Gamble, will I think love this one as well, and this is. I guess why it has such high ratings um, on Goodreads, because um, it's it's really something for everyone. So, you there, you that watches this video right now, I think nine out of ten of you will really love this book and will probably end up giving it five or four stars as well. So, I beg you, go go out buy this book, read it. If you are the tenth person that doesn't like it for some reason at all, I'm totally sorry that I convinced you to do this, but um, uh, but but for everyone else, please, please try it. It's, and I say it again, really, really worth it. So, have you read Blood Song already? Or are you going to? Then tell me in the comments. Um, also something uh, I put into the comments um, a kind of a new feature I already did that yesterday but I didn't talk about it on the video because um, uh, I had the idea uh, just when I uh, finished editing um, I put in a little category in a new one called on the horizon and in this c uh, category I'm going to tell you what's coming up on my channel in the next couple of days or weeks. So if you already want to have a glimpse in the future what kind of reviews uh, are coming up now, what books I'm reading, what kind of features I'm planning. Um, uh, at the moment I'm planning to do something like a guide about steampunk because I think steampunk is a very exciting genre. Uh, is something that uh, that many, many people are just getting into right now and maybe not really knowing what it's all about and what's coming up uh, um, for them and I'm a huge steampunk fan and we'll have uh, uh, one or two steampunk uh, reviews really really soon on this channel so I decided to also uh, wanted to, to do it in some kind of guide maybe a five part thing where I get into certain uh, certain things about steampunk so yeah look out for that if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you enjoyed it even more, hit the subscribe button to see more of me. And I hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye! Blut, Flut, Räuber saufen Blut, Raub und Mord und Überfall sind gut.